Hi, it's Kerry. There are so many wonderful animals in China. Gawa. Gawa occur in heavily fragmented populations in Yunnan and southeastern Tibet. The shoulder height of gas is up to 2.2 meters and males can weigh up to 1,500 kilograms. Taken, found in the eastern Himalayas. Panda, females increase their scent markings and become more focal when sexually receptive. There is intense, aggressive male competition. The males will lunge and swat, grabbing at each other's neck. The male will then stay close to the female and charge at any intruders. Male giant pandas have one of the smallest penises relative to body size in the animal kingdom. The panda's baculum is S-shaped and backwardly directed. The female lowers her front end, arches her back down and raises her tail end up so the male can get in position. She then has to push back on him. Once copulation is complete, they let out bleating noises. Please subscribe and turn on notifications. The beautiful red golden pheasant. Brown bear. I'm calling this one my Himalayan brown bear. Males grow to 2.2 meters. They are usually a reddish brown or sandy color. A Suri brown bear, also known as the Iso brown bear and the black grizzly bear. It's a subspecies of the brown bear. A very large Asuri brown bear may be almost as big as a Kodiak bear in size. It is a different subspecies to the grizzly bear. The large curved claws on the forelimbs are longer than those on the hind limbs, measuring up to 10 centimeters along the curve. During combat, bears use their paws to strike their opponents in the chest or shoulders and bite the head or neck. The rear feet of adult bears measure up to 36 centimeters. The Tibetan blue bear is one of the rarest subspecies of bear in the world. The blue bear is rarely sighted in the wild. Kropolsky's horse. It is the only true extant wild horse in the world today. At one time they were extinct in the wild but have been reintroduced to the native habitat in Mongolia. It has a massive head with a long face and powerful jaw. South China tiger is possibly extinct in the wild. It's a similar height to the Bengal tiger but differing in its skull and coat characteristics. Elephant. China's elephants are only found in a safe haven deep in the fragmented rainforest in the south of Yunnan province near the border of Myanmar and Laos. In China, Asian elephants are under first level protection and the government has taken steps to conserve areas of elephant habitat and numbers are on the rise. When male elephants go into musk, they become sexually aggressive. Females prefer mates in musk because it indicates they are the most dominant and strongest males. There is always a courtship, ending up with them stroking each other with their trunks and the male may gently rest his trunk and chin on her back. Chinese water dragon. 
Yak 2010 by Schleich. Wild Yak, stand up to 2.2 meters at the shoulder, weigh 1,200 kilograms and have a head and body length up to 3.4 meters. To protect against the cold, the udder in females and the scrotum in males are small and covered in a layer of hair. Females have four teeth. Malaysian tapir. The ancestor of this lived in China up until about 4,000 years ago. It was called the giant tapir. Tapirs are generally shy, but when scared or protecting their young, they can defend themselves with their very powerful jaws. Most tapirs are about two meters in length and stand about one meter at the shoulder and can weigh up to 300 kilograms. Females have a single pair of mammary glands and males have long penises relative to their body size. Clouded leopard, they live in dense tropical rainforests and jungles. Their main predators are tigers and leopards. The term Chinese leopard refers to the Amur leopard, the Indo-Chinese leopard and the Indian leopard. The Indo-Chinese leopards are more of a rusty red colour and are native to southern China and Southeast Asia. Snow leopard, they are found in the rugged mountains of the Himalayas on the northern front. They have been known to live up to nine meters, which is six times their body length. For the Chinese, as well as the Indians, the tortoise symbolizes the universe. Please stay and watch another video with me. I'd love to read your comments. Thank you for watching my video. See you again soon. See you guys in my next video.